Pretty decent, pretty decent. Shoot. There he is. Yeah, not bad. That sucker's fat. One second, let me get the hook out. Not bad, probably about a pound and a half, but he's got a belly on him. <laughs> so, nice. first fish of the day, we're going to be fishing the whole day, so we'll let you know if we get any more like this. So yeah, pretty nice. All right, we got our first fish, second fish of the day, Jacob. Not bad, this little don't think anyone's probably ever fished back here. There's like pines and we're back on this deserted trail. First cast, just kind of some brush around. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it's like a double hook, dang. Yeah, pull it through then out. There we Little go. Quarter pound, maybe about ten inches or so. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty nice. All right, Midwest Outdoors. We'll let you know. We get any more fish? There's, There's one. one. It's a big. No. Oh. No, it's just a little. Mm. Small. Looks pretty healthy. In this little open area. Yeah, we're just out here throwing yeah, spinner baits. Six inches. <laughs> well, that wasn't a camera fish, really, but why not? Yeah. All right. Well, hope we can get into some bigger ones, and we'll let you know. There's one. There's a fish. Maybe about a half pound, little 12 inch. Not bad. Early March at Pirtle Springs in Warrensburg, Missouri. And this lake's pretty cool, but people don't really think there's good fish here, but you know, it's pretty cool. Flip it the other way. Not bad, not bad. Pretty All right, healthy. we got a few hours of sunlight left, so what? Get hopefully get a couple least. more. All right, just got another one right off here. Tiny little one on the spinnerbait. They're not very big, but this is our first time out this winter, so we'll take them. <laughs> All right, Jacob just hooked into another one. Got one right here by the bank, real close. Not bad, not bad. Late winter here, waters. Yeah, late winter, water's still pretty chilly, so we're fish fishing deep. Just using spinners, seeing what we can get. Little yeah. pre-spawn stuff. Yeah, we got some freaking jealous dudes at the dock over here. <laughs> keep getting mad that we're catching all yeah, their fish. Yeah, this dude keeps asking if it's bass or bluegill. Do yeah, you think I'll... we're worm fishing for bluegill? No. We're out here for some good sheep. Alright, well, we'll let you know if you get anything else. Oh, there's one. Yeah, him. pretty nice for out of here. Real deep. A little 12, 11 incher, but not bad. We're, uh, we're just using little Booyah Pond Magic spinners. Pretty light, so we can just catch anything, but we're just taking those, running those just deep and pulling them in. And they're hitting pretty deep. 
So hopefully get one more before the sun goes down. Alright, another one we just caught. Yeah, we haven't got very many big ones out of here, but it's good quantity. Yeah. They look pretty healthy. Which, way better than we thought we'd be doing for winter bass, but... Yeah, I'm also using a Booyah Pond Magic. It's like a <laughs> black head with red sparkles and a purple body. So we're just running them in. Just right... Before the sunset. Right down in here. They're hitting. They're chasing them, and then they're hitting right at the end. But yeah, we got the sunset. And we'll try to get one more, hopefully. There's one. Got another one on. And we're getting into it right as the sun sets. Yeah, it's been about five and five minutes now. Another decent one. They're real healthy, really nice coloring. Alright, we'll try to get one more for you. Alright, we're gonna probably end the night with this guy. It's been pretty successful today. Quite a lot of fish. It's been fun. Nice start to the season. Yep. We'll get some more good videos for you guys. Some bigger fish, hopefully. Yep, and we're just throwing on a medium light rod with my Boo Garcia Aura Daiwa rod. And he's got a browning reel. And Daiwa rod. rod and just these medium light rods, these small fish are still putting up a pretty fun fight. So we'll try to get some more videos for you and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be a good summer.